I have several machines in my network sending syslog messages to our Sagan server. The first thing I'm going to do is verify that the Sagan server is receiving messages with TCP dump. Once I've verified that, I'll start configuring our syslog. The make FIFO command is used to make the Sagan FIFO. This is the way Sagan will receive messages from our syslog daemon. Now using our favorite editor, we'll open the R syslog config file. We are going to enable R syslog's IM UDP module to receive messages via UDP and specify the port to receive messages on. If you wish to use TCP instead, use IM TCP. Sagan expects syslog data to be written to the FIFO in a format it can understand. To do this, we are specifying the Sagan template. You can copy and paste this template from the Sagan How-To Wiki page. We specify that we want all log messages to be written to the Sagan FIFO. We write and save the configuration file. We restart the R syslog service so our changes will go into effect. We use the cat command to verify that we are getting syslog messages into our FIFO. If we get data from our FIFO, we know our syslog configuration has been successful. Like previously, we are going to use TCP dump to verify that our system is receiving syslog messages. We are going to configure two FIFOs this time. One FIFO will be used for network devices on UDP port 514 and the other will be for Windows systems on UDP port 1514. This will allow us to split up logs for Sagan. Using our favorite editor, we'll open the syslog ng config file. The next two lines will represent the protocol and what port syslog and g should receive logs on. This is being copied and pasted from the Sagan how-to wiki and slightly modified for our use. I'm now adding the destination for our source data. The destinations will be to our Sagan FIFO using the Sagan template. This is being copied from the Sagan How-To Wiki. I'm now going to tie it all together with the last two lines. This tells syslog and g to take the source data received from our UDP ports and write it to our Sagan FIFO destinations. We can now write our syslog and g configuration file and exit. We restart the syslog and g service so that our configuration changes will go into effect. We use the cat command to verify that we are getting syslog messages into our FIFO. If we get data from our FIFO, we know that our syslog and g configuration has been successful. For the latest Sagan news, check out sagan.io. You can also chat with us on Freenode, pound Sagan.
or you can post comments or questions on the Google Group Sagan discussion board.